this titty panel. Man, look at that thing. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Mouse. Man, we on the grind already. It's what, like 10.30, something like that. Uh, I just uh, uploaded my video. Man, I didn't do it last night, man. Your boy was actually really tired and I actually took it in really early, man. I, I think I fell asleep like 7.30, 8 o'clock Eastern time. If you are uh, new and this is your first time watching uh, one of my videos, oh, dang, like the, the type of gas, man. Uh, all right, so if you are new to uh, my uh, channel, man, you know, I'm Mouse, we do car audio, man, we've been doing some really fly whips lately, man, you know, we've done the door panels in my homeboy's uh, white Dodge, uh, we did a while back a sound system and a single cabinet, that thing came out pretty loud, uh, definitely we did that white OBS and that thing is a monster, uh, what else did we do, we did a titty panel from a homeboy's red OBS truck, that came out really clean, and we got more uh, stuff we gotta do to all his trucks, and Right now, man, we're getting my boy Theo right, single the mile, on his single cab GMC truck. All right, man, that's hot tub. That's all we need today. Man, even though twenty dollars don't do much for your gas tank, man, but it stops me from going from place to place. You feel me? So we're still working on the single cab with the console and the titty panel, and those things got done sanded yesterday. So to pretty much today, it is putting the console wrapping and putting the console together but before I could even start doing anything I need to go buy a heat gun and I need to go buy some screws and what else what else what else maybe some Gatorades or something just so we stay hydrated because man I've been drinking nothing but Kool-Aid and sodas while I'm outside working in the sun and that stuff's bad for you actually so, so pretty much pretty much the goal for today on uh, today's video is we have to go ahead and wrap the top of the console with the suede. Well, actually, you know, we need a little bit of, you know, other work done. Um, but for today, really the main priority is going ahead and wrapping the fiberglass pieces that we made. We need to wrap the top of the, the console piece and the black vinyl. And we need to wrap the titty panel in the vinyl. We need to cut all the plexiglass for the inserts. We need to pre-drill the holes on it and actually cut out the speaker holes because it's going to get mounted in it. Um, then what do we have to do? Then we have to set the LEDs in place, let all that stuff uh, overnight dry. And then we still need to router out a few pieces uh, for the side pieces for the console so it can look like... And then pretty much, you know, later on tonight, maybe off camera. I'm going to go ahead and pre-wire the truck tonight, which means running all the power wire, the uh, RCA is running speaker wires inside the door. Although I may get it on camera, but that'll probably be for the video after this one, because today we just got to concentrate on wrapping. And, you know, I need the heat gun just so we can make sure in case we need extra stretching on the vinyl, man, we're, we're ready. We have every tool that we need, so there's no uh, scrambling and trying to figure out. Um, how to get stuff done when we already know what tools we need, man. Definitely, definitely, man, sit back, enjoy the video. I've been trying to tone down the videos from its length. Usually the videos are like 20 minutes plus, and I want you guys to sit here and watch all through the whole video. Some of you probably already do, and some of y'all don't, but you know, I understand sometimes the videos do get boring, but I'm so I'm gonna start, you know, narrowing the videos down to a good length, so you can pretty much just sit back and relax and watch the whole videos. Um, I'm not necessarily saying that, you know, I'm the best person to learn off of, man. Well, we do a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, man, we're in the city right now. And we are on the way to Walmart, our first stop, because heat guns at Walmart are rather cheap. And they're pretty good, you know. I made it to Walmart safely in one piece, man. We gotta pump that gas. And look, you see, I definitely need some Gatorades, man, because we just keep drinking these Cokes. I don't know about you guys, but I always tend to park really far out just because I don't want no one to ding the side of my door. When I 
definitely tried my hardest not to get one of the cart that made a lot of noise, but man. I need to bring like some wrenches and stuff so I can tighten up these these wheels on them. So I feel them shaky. Okay, so I am just gonna need some regular tape because you can't physically just start drilling and stuff like that on the plexiglass because you'll scratch it for one. So we just need a quick piece of tape just so we can tape her up and be able to cut on it without having to worry about it. it's going to get scratched. So we're just going to get to some regular tape enough, wide enough just so it'll work for us for a little bit. And then we'll probably just get this guy quick release. Not too bad. And you know, honestly, man, silicone, look, 11.98. You know, this was pretty good, but you could just buy some silicone at Walmart for like a dollar nine, or at Home Depot for a dollar ninety nine. I actually was gonna buy the silicone yesterday at Walmart when I went, but man, that thing was kind of expensive. And I went to Home Depot and I got the same uh, silicone for almost like a dollar ninety nine versus paying three ninety nine, and it, you know. That sounds like cheap on both sides, man, but if you can save a dollar, man, save that dollar to so go get a drink. All right, so we found the heat gun right here. 26 bucks, can't go wrong. Wagner, that's a good uh, brand. Those are the ones that make that Wagner cordless power painter. Or the power painter. I remember watching those commercials being young. Hey, is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's my new Wagner power painter. Well, can you edge with it? You can edge like this, or adjust it to control the paint up close. And when I'm done, I'm gonna switch nozzles and stain my deck. Do a lot of other jobs I've been meaning to do. Well, does it clean up easy? Yeah, it's quicker than you think. Why am I painting this by hand? Good question. Get a Wagner. Being young, but those painters are actually pretty good. We had some for the house, and we painted a few things with it, and it worked really good. But we got the heat gun. Right here, we're going to go ahead and buy it because we're going to use it to wrap these panels so they can look beautiful. Okay, so we pretty much got everything that we needed from Walmart. Most definitely we came for the heat gun and we had to put some tape. And now we're going to go to the hardware store to buy some things. I don't know if you guys like the Five Nights at Freddy's, but I found this guy on my son. And you know, we always collect them. So thought I'd throw it in there real quick. So now let's get to the hardware store. Then we can get to work. Much, much, much later. All right, so the robot, it is wrapped, man. The robot looks crazy, no lie. It's a little dusty, but man, it is wrapped. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tweeters in there just to see what it looks like. Let's walk around the truck real quick. Man, this truck, shout out to my boy Cleo, man. Um, man, this truck is no joke. Look at that. He actually got the truck, uh, the bumper painted. He said that he saw the video and he said he didn't like the way the bumper looked. So I think, if I remember right, he changed it out to an HD bumper, which I think it actually looks pretty good, man. Like, honestly, my boy Cleo's truck's no joke, man. I think it's pretty badass. I like the black, you know, I'm a big fan of the black. And the GMC, man, the wheels, like, man, it fits a perfect, you know. So shout out to my boy Cleo. But look, check this out, guys. I did it. I want, I want to apologize for not showing uh, me wrapping the panels. But man, like, I had to, like, physically, mentally prepare my mind to do it because it did take a lot of skill to do it all it took two, basically two yards of vinyl so I had to make sure that I had to cut enough uh, vinyl and to have enough slack to do the titty panel and then the leftover vinyl I pretty much had to figure out a way how to wrap that all in one piece with the, the uh, for the top of the console but I had to basically cut it like a certain way and I let the vinyl sit in the in the sun for a little bit so it gets a little bit more stretchy then I applied the glue then I let the glue dry then I went ahead and man like listen I had to like stretch that with my life you know what I'm saying but we got it done in one piece you know what I'm saying most people can't wrap stuff in one piece but man over here at the trap house man we, we make sure we wrap stuff in one piece and now with it being wrapped and looking good the way it is man when we add that plexiglass that mesh on top with that black suede man forget about it dog I don't even want to hear nothing. That thing's going to look so sick. But look, check this out. This titty panel. Man, look at that thing. Sick, guys. Sick. So that opening right there, it's going to actually get the mesh 
It's gonna have mesh, then it's gonna have the plexiglass behind it where it's gonna house the speakers, the mids at. So it's gonna be mesh, speakers, and plexiglass, and inside that, that's what's gonna get uh, LED lights. So that big square man, I think is gonna be blinking really nice. And I actually like the way how it goes uh, with the seat. I mean, I, I can't scoot the seat back all the way from over here, but it actually sits in there really perfect, guys. And like, city panel, man, that thing's awesome. Really, 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 really happy with the city panel. So the console will probably like sit like up here, but you'll just see the top of the the eyes of the tweeters lurking like crocodiles. Other than but other than that, other than that, man, that city panel is no joke. I I was really like, dang, that thing is no joke. That thing looks really nice, and especially inside there with the black and everything, man. Cleo, man, you got a sick city panel. So hopefully, you know, it, it comes out good with the mesh. Uh, and now let me show you the the top of the console. So this is the top of the console. I'm still actually working on wrapping it, but I mean, you get it for the most part. It looks pretty good. Um, you know, usually what I do is once I wrap everything, I come back and I get a rag and like I just run like heat on top of it where I see areas that need a little bit more uh, sticking down. So like I lightly, you know, wave the uh, heat gun like, like that. Then I come through with my rag and like I slowly press down on it just to get a lot of the stuff out but I do that after I get done wrapping everything because I want to make sure that everything is wrapped and listen guys to wrap this piece all in one like man that was like it was fun I'm just gonna go and say I'm not gonna say it wasn't fun I'm gonna just say it was fun but we went ahead and did it all in one piece and you know the, the more that we get to do these projects and we challenge ourselves with like new angles and new stuff like it only makes us that much better so man, any challenges, man, you know, we will take it. I, I already knew that the wrapping part of this was going to be a little bit, you know, it was going to be a good little minute, but we got it done. It, it looks really bomb. And like, I, I can't, I actually, now I can't wait to actually see what this thing's going to look like finish because this, this whole project, man, this, this thing's going to be nasty. And especially like right here where it has like, all right here where the inserts are going to be at once again it's going to be mesh then it's going to be plexiglass with the speakers in it like glowing so man like led lights are going to be perfect um sometimes when you do consoles you don't want them to look too cartoony you still want them to keep that stealth like look and especially with the suede on top of the box with the vinyl man it, it definitely keeps its integrity of it being stealth man so man go ahead and like this video because your boy put in some work today like real work you know i i you know still can't believe we actually got it in one piece and you know we still got to finish uh the console um but man my, my my plan was just to wrap the console up today and the tv panel because that's a majority of the big work the rest of it man it just goes back. all right so we actually have to wrap the top of the console with uh the suede we have to make the side pieces where it needs to get covered up, but we're gonna do those in carpet just to give it that factory look. We definitely gotta finish uh, wrapping the console, but I mean, we probably got another like 20 minutes left in the console. Um, titty panel is complete wrapped. Let me show you again. Man, I'm, I'm really stoked on the titty panel. The titty panel, man, that thing was no joke. Look at that. I really like the titty panel a lot and I mean it's dirty right now but you guys see it once once we get the truck done and everything jamming and I'm getting ready to give it back to my boy Cleo we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean her up and make sure he he's good with it you know what I'm saying so uh, we still got to cut plexiglass we still got to cut rings out for the plexiglass and we still got to uh, do LED lights and everything but for tomorrow's video uh, we're gonna get on it like 7 30 in the morning and we're gonna cut plexiglass rings we're gonna set the plexiglass rings we're gonna put the lights in it and then we're gonna epoxy everything down while that's sitting and curing we're gonna go ahead and start wiring the truck so once everything starts curing and everything is done with on that process we can uh, start putting product in start wiring stuff up and get everything ready so we can get this buckled up for my boy Cleo. So we're gonna shoot Thursday night to try to have everything, which is tomorrow. Uh, but if we really have to go until, you know, first thing Friday morning and get it done by noon, 
so then when he gets off of work he can just come by and scoop it up so be it you know we still got you know saturday and i mean i don't even really mind not having my front speakers done on my truck but i have to make sure my my client my customer my boy cleo is uh truck is done because he is a part of the um of the club that's hosting the truck meet this weekend but you guys need to pop up if you guys are in the surrounding areas man so you can check out the builds and i got to make sure he is out there that is very important to me and i thought that's very important to him so this is when it counts to know that you know what's more important and my boy's truck is very important to me to get done and i need to have them bragging rights out there man look man you know my boy cleo's truck when we got that thing done all the best builds i feel that turn out to be the best builds are the ones that come down to the moments when they need to be done you feel me all the other ones man that don't mean nothing man this is when when, when you know you you're the man you can get stuff done uh when it, it's it's in crunch time and we're definitely in crunch time uh not necessarily but man we're gonna get it done for my boy man so stay tuned for tomorrow's video tomorrow's video man is gonna be way 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 better than today's video and man we got a lot to do man but let's get it done so be a part of the mousetrap gang subscribe turn on the notification bells on so you know when every time we're dropping a, a fire video man drop some comments man definitely hit that like man i'll catch you guys tomorrow man peace